Now, breaking news on News Channel 8. Courtney Campbell Causeway shut down and it is, is expected to stay that way for hours. Two people were killed and another was rushed to the hospital in an accident just before 4 o'clock this morning. Eight on your side, Beth Rousseau, live on the Tampa side of the causeway with what we know so far. Good morning. Hey, Avery and Chris, in the last 30 minutes, we're learning new details about this crash from the Tampa Police Department. That's who you can see right here blocking off the traffic in both directions on the Courtney Campbell Causeway. So what we're learning about this crash from them is five people were involved and so were two cars. They say one of those cars actually flipped over and ejected multiple people. Right now, they tell us two men are dead. A man and a woman have been taken to the hospital. And then that fifth person is actually here on the scene of the crash cooperating with law enforcement. Now you can see obviously they're flipping traffic around here because again traffic in both directions of the Courtney Campbell Causeway shut down and troopers tell us it'll be that way for several hours this morning because this is a death investigation. They have to piece together what happened and get everything cleaned up. Now again we know this affects your commute in big ways so Deanne is going to have your workarounds. Good morning Deanne. Good morning, Beth, and good morning, everybody. Yeah, you don't want to be like that car we just saw at Beth's live shot making that U-turn. So just avoid trying to travel east or westbound along the Courtney Campbell Causeway this morning. It is not going to happen. Tampa police say that the um, road will be shut down or the bridge will be shut down for several hours. If you need to go north of the causeway, State Road 580. If you live on the Tampa side, that's Hillsboro Avenue, becomes Tampa Road, then it becomes... Well, it's always State Route 580. That's going to be your best alternate route. Otherwise, I'm encouraging folks to travel along the Howard Franklin Bridge. Right now, I'm not seeing any heavy congestion, but of course, if that changes, I will let you know.